value. Determining what has value in your life and how you see what's valuable is going to have major dividends or drawbacks to how you get your money and how you build your empire. Because the man who values the least probably will end up with the most. The man who values the most probably will end up with the least. It's just the way of the world. Um, and I'll give you a good example. Um, if you didn't care what people thought of you, right? If you didn't put value in their words, you would just not even pay attention and be very focused. But since you do give value to their words or what they say to you, you think if I don't look a certain way, I'm not going to get any girls. People aren't going to respect me. Um, if you didn't put value in cars, you would buy the one that gets you where you need to go and is the most efficient. Um, you wouldn't care too much about the color. You wouldn't care too much about all this stuff because you needed to get you from point A to point B. Because the real value of that car is not getting you there in style. The value of that car is getting you there. Um, if you value the right things, you would be extremely focused. And I'm talking about the value of the least. And when I say the least is the bare essence of what needs to be done. If you can get yourself down to that level, you're going to be extremely rich. Now let's flip the coin on the other side. Let's look at people who value the most. People who value the most do stupid things. They'll buy a $400,000, $500,000, $700,000 home just because they want to show other people that they're rich. So they will cluck off their money and go ahead and, and just show off and they will buy clothes to fit this lifestyle. They will buy watches. They will buy cars. They will put their kids in schools all because they value what other people may think of them. These things don't really have any real value. Uh, the car, just because you have a, a German-made car, does not mean you're rich. It means rich to a lot of suckers, but it don't mean rich to anybody else. I mean, in real terms, same basic car is being cranked out. Under every Lexus is a Toyota. Same engine, same everything, same company. They put a different shell on it and called it and made it $30,000. But since you see a Lexus and you say, man, you know he must be paid. But under that car is the same Camry. Didn't change nothing. So when you value the most, you end up with the least. And this is just a basic podcast. And this is a little bit heady for a lot of you cats, man. This is got to ask you to, to, to pace yourself, listen to what I'm saying, and absorb this. Because I'm going to tell you the easiest way for you to get rich. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to waste 20 minutes. This ain't no infomercial. The easiest way for you to get rich is very simple. One, find yourself a house for about forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. doesn't matter if it's a little bit outside the city. Find yourself a house for forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. Uh, buy that house and pay it off in about two years. You can do this on a $2,000 salary. Buy yourself a car that's timeless, that's efficient, that's a good car. Um, if you're going to be a commuter, you know Toyota makes good engines. Um, they go 200,000 miles. If you're going to buy a truck, Ford F-150s go about 300,000 miles. If you know these things, you'll piece these things together. Um, and you'll pay this car off. And you'll buy everything that has value for its true purpose. You'll buy furniture that lasts long because that's the value of furniture. Not to show off, but the value of it is to sit down and be comfortable. You'll buy a TV based off of how long it's going to last. And you'll make a good decision on when you buy it. Because realistically, you're buying things for their true essence, their quality value. Not what it does for anything else. A lot of you cats won't do this, but if you did that, paid off your house, paid off your car, stuck to a, a, a good standard of clothes that didn't cost that much, but were real good quality, you would be out of this game in about two years. You would be completely out. Because you would not have not one payment to make toward anybody. So now after your house is paid off, your car is paid off and you got your wardrobe up, right? And you got the furniture you need and you chilling. Man, the world is yours. You can go outside tomorrow and say, I'm going to open up a business because you know why? I don't have to worry about how I'm eating, how I'm living, how I'm walking, how I'm talking. I'm good. So I can come right back outside and, and take on a whole bunch of businesses. I don't need a job because guess what? I have enough money 
and not, I don't really have any expenses, that I can do whatever I got to do. I can actually entertain the idea of hustling because I can actually say, all I need is $3,000 for the rest of the year, $4,000 for the rest of the year to pay off all my cable and to pay off my taxes and to pay everything. I'm good. If you did this, you would be done in about two years. And the reason why you would be richer than most is because, first of all, from my other conversation, you know we aren't running a negative. And if you aren't running a negative, you don't own nobody. You really good on the books. You a solid dude. Second, you have room, time, and the right mind to make money. That's what makes it valuable. That's the true value. Because the reason why most people don't make it is not because of, of, of these other things that they think. It's really because, and this is the other part of the coin, they value the most, they value too many things that always put them in the hole. And they never gonna have time to get out of that hole. So the reason why most of you cats will fail, will continue to fail, is because you will not value things the right way. You go outside and you say you need these kind of clothes. It's the same pair of jeans as a $10 pair of jeans, but you want people to notice you. You value other people's opinion. You, you buy this car because people will notice me in the, in the Range Rover even though the car is here to get you from point A to point B. You, you paid $50,000 more just for people to notice you. You buy a house that's 400000 You paid 400 and something thousand more just for people to notice you. The, all these things because you value things that don't matter what other people say, what other people think. And how they go about their slavery at field life, homie, is the reason why you don't make it. Now, this is, like I said, this is a heavy one because a lot of you cats don't have to dig deep to, to really see what I'm telling you. See, the first part of freedom, homie, is getting out from under other people. It's not getting a better place to sit in the, in the, in the plantation. It's not having a bigger place. It's not becoming burdened more under somebody else's thing. It's really to get out of it. And once you get out of it, you're a free man. Once you don't, you don't need them anymore, you're a free man. This clears up your mind for you to get on your grind with big things. This also gets you on your grind that if you lose it all, you're not losing it all. I'm still eating. I'm still driving where I need to go. I'm still sleeping in the right place. I got my clothes. I'm good. They can't do too much to me. Right? But this is where the, the tricky part of the game gets because... A lot of you cats, the way the game is set up is you go through school, there's a loan, there's one burden. You get out of school, they want you to get a house, there's another burden. You want to show off in your car, that's another burden. You're never going to get out. The reason why, like I said, the reason why most cats never make it is because they're trying to do both. You can't do both and succeed. You're going to be lucky. I was lucky. My hustle was 10 times better than my struggle. If my hustle is 10 times better than my struggle, I'm going to get out of here. But since most of you cats' hustles are equal or below what you're struggling to survive with, you ain't going to never make it. So either we address the struggle and get it over with, right, or we get a hell of a hustle. And we got to get something 10 times better than what we're losing. And most of you cats don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, most of you cats, you want the hustle part. You want to say, Freeman, how can I live top shelf? and you know ball and get out of you know get out of jail get off the plantation how can i do both and and i'm telling you the surefire way is for you to address the struggle right away what nobody don't understand about me and i'll give you something that that really revealing my thinking when i started all my businesses and i did everything i got my money up i took care of all my debts i took care of everything else but you know i failed to take care of my living arrangement I could have bought me a nice house. I was sitting here thinking, you know, oh man, I should, I shouldn't put all my money towards that. You know, I should be out here chilling. I can live where I want. Let me go travel to the country. Let me go to Miami, all these places. I've been everywhere. Now, if I can re rewind the tape and talk to young Freeman, I would say, just, just pick this, this $40,000 house over in, on the outside of Miami, homie, and pay that damn thing off and you'll be good. You know, you, if, if the world came to an end, you, you can, plant some damn uh, fruit trees out in the back. You know what I'm saying? I could have did that a long time ago. But that's the grind I'm on right now. That's the way I'm thinking right now. Let me square a lot of these things away because it's time to blow the fuck up. And since I'm trying to blow the fuck up, let me, let me get rid of all my burdens. You know what I'm saying? All of them. 
Let me put value in the things that are valuable. Let me own the land. You know what I'm saying? So I can go ahead and build my 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 dream house. Because I don't dream. I like to call it my reality house. I'm sorry. The reality house. On that land. Let me save up enough money to, to build the house outright. Now I'm living. I move my, my foundation, my lowest level up. The, now I have real value. Not only do I have security, stability, and freedom. I also have what the suckers desire. I have a nice house. I have a nice car. I have all the things the suckers desire. You know what I'm saying? So not only have I, uh, you know, addressed my own values, I've addressed the world's values. But this is a personal sacrifice on me to get there. This is a personal sacrifice on my end to even think about, okay, you know what, man? Shake all the dumb shit off, partner, and let's, let's go left. You know what I'm saying? Because I could be doing a lot more with my chips, but I'm doing what's necessary for me to be independent. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I know it's going to pay off. And it might just be, you know, for me, three to six months of sacrifice. For me to get this thing done and solid. Then I can start bubbling, homie. You know what I'm saying? Come right back up with the second act of your boy Freeman. You know what I'm saying? That was act one with the hustle. Act two is the empire. But for a lot of you cats, man, this is where y'all going to be stuck forever. Because y'all trying to find a, a cool place in hell. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to find a way. Um, and most cats give up, man. Most cowards to the game give up. they going to say, it's no way out, Freeman. I might as well be burdened with this house for the next 30, 40 years. There's no way out, Freeman. The car is, you know, I don't want an old car. I don't want to be driving around for two years in a, in a, in a, in a you know, what people may consider a bucket and what you might consider to be functional. I don't want to do that. I don't want to wear, uh, you know, dockers and just standard clothes for the next a couple of years. You know, I want to do what I got to do, Freeman. So, I understand. But don't ever say nobody didn't give you the way out, homie. I'm giving you the simplest way. I'm giving you the way out that that you can do something right now. Now, I'm not I'm talking about you, homie. You sitting there thinking you at the end of your rope. You thinking you never going to make it. I'm telling you the way out right now. Like I said, no infomercial. You don't have to wait to the end of the 30 minutes for me to peep game and give it to you, homie. I can give it to you right now. Buy the house. Pay off your car. Get some clothes that you need. Get the furniture you need to furnish your house. Get good quality stuff. Pay all that off. You'll be done in two years. Even at a $2,000 a month job, you'll be done in two years. Even if you're hustling water, you'll be done in two years. You know what I'm saying? That'll be enough. Then you'll have all the free time. To go out and, and really build that empire. But for a lot of cats, this is not gonna happen. And this is what this is this is a true, true, true God nature right here, homie. If you can boil all the bullshit down that they trying to feed you, you know what I'm saying? You can do I remember one cat, I'll give you a good story, man. I was too young in the game to understand this, but I once worked for a cat who told me food is fuel. And I'm like, man, I ain't, I ain't eating no food that, that tastes like fuel. And he's like, nah, you got to understand, food is fuel. Food is basically what I need to keep moving forward. It's energy. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really see the food as quality or non-quality or this or that. Food is fuel. And that's the way he was losing weight and lifting weights and everything. And I, I you know, I didn't get it. As a man, he's really telling me now the same thing I'm trying to tell you. You know, boil these situations down to what they actually need to be. Do you need a watch? First of all, ask yourself, do you need a watch? And if you need a watch, what do you need the watch for? To tell time? Or do you need the watch to show other people that you got money? Which is defeats the function of the watch. And it has no value. Except to other people. If you out here peacocking, you know, showing off trying to make everyone believe you something that you have not attained yet then all these things that you think have value don't. You having granite countertops in your house, what the hell does that do for you? I mean, besides when other people, it makes you feel good, right? That you have something that the other people like to have. See, in the end, homie, and this is, I gotta, I know I'm, this is gonna be a, 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 a weird podcast, but in the end, homie, what you value determines value. And what you have to know is you gotta find out what's valuable to you. Not everybody else. What's valuable to you? What's valuable to you might be something completely, and most likely it's going to be something completely that they don't even know. This is why you sit there and you see some people and you say, how can they be happy with that? 
because he's happy because that's exactly what he wanted not what you wanted not what the world wanted but what he wanted how can he be happy in that car how can he be happy with that job how can he that's what he wanted but it's, since we talking on RNG and we always talking chips and we talking empire and we talking independence you got to determine what's valuable to you and in this chip game what's valuable is owning every part of your life not letting anyone mess up your life not letting anyone determine where you can go not letting the circumstances that others wish you would have like when you watch the furniture commercials come on in today buy some furniture you don't have to pay it back to 2015 we're gonna hold this over your head for the next four years but you get to enjoy it now free you know what I'm saying so you not seeing that the cost of that is that they probably accrue an interest on the back end and you're gonna pay them four thousand dollars and by the time you pay it off your furniture is gonna be crap because they gave you crappy furniture see you gotta learn to, to, to really understand quality and quantity quality in your personal life quality in everything you do quality in the TV you buy quality in the, the furniture you sit on quality in the food you take in right and all these things will pay off and they don't have to be like everybody else quantity when it comes to business quantity of clients quantity of products we push in, quantity but what most people get is they flip it on the other side and that's because they don't understand chips they think quantity the more granite countertops I got in my house the richer I look the bigger my house the richer I look the bigger my car the richer I look the more the more uh, engines the V12 it's the better I look all this shit don't matter right but they think it does because it's quantity to the suckers who don't understand money and it's quantity to the hustlers because we know to give them 200 uh, slabs of granite countertop we know to build a house with 12,000 square feet we know they suck as we give it to them but for us who want to be pure in this game and want to get out of it I gave you the plan again homie it's simple repeat it to yourself forty fifty thousand dollar house pay it off in two years the car pay that off in two years buy some clothes that have quality that you can wear more than one year maybe two three years buy some furniture that's some quality and it's gonna last in there for 20 years and you won't have nothing else to buy buy a TV that lasts long you won't have nothing else to buy see the value of that is freedom see that's what I'm giving you that's what I'm telling you I'm giving you independence the quickest way to get there not this other shit the business part when I tell you about the business side of the RNG homie is because I want you to understand that if you're not gonna play this game the way I'm saying it and you are gonna play the sucker role then the goal is for you to come up with a business that flipped that's why I'm always talking about transactions that's why I'm always talking chips with you teaching you how to see if I do this I'm gonna make a hundred if I do this I'm gonna make 500 I want you to learn how to maximize those chips so you can have 10 times the hustle in comparison to your struggle homie you understand what I'm saying that's what you got to do to get out of this shit because if you're not gonna address the struggle you need 10 times the hustle and determining that is what value really is now I know this is one of those what I like to call school lectures I didn't mean it to be like that man it's just that sometimes I gotta break things down to you in a simple form and if there's anything you remember about this value podcast homie is one determine what it is for you two don't listen to the sheep they don't know what the hell they do and they think a shiny suit means they're successful they think a ring means they're successful a watch means they're successful a job they got on a plantation means they're successful and three really 3 A D C D get that house homie pay it off if you don't want to be in a bad neighborhood look outside the city get that car homie pay it off you know what I'm saying get get the furniture and get the clothes you need have them all in the wardrobe and chill you can get this done in two years homie I don't care how how, at the, how far at the bottom you are you can get this done in two years and the world will be yours and you'll wake up one day and say damn Freeman I don't owe anybody and I'm making money and I, I don't even go anywhere I could open up a fast food place I could take on this thing I could travel the world whenever I want to you know what I'm saying I can do all these things that other suckers feel they can never do I can do it you know what I'm saying I got me a little job I make some little bread on the side homie only make three grand two grand a month I could fly to China right now homie I mean it's nothing you know I could take that two grand because my house is paid for I don't got no expenses I'm just getting up closing the door and leaving 
determine what's valuable to you. I'm I, I'm me, man. One cat call me the sage, another cat call me inspiration, all that stuff, man. I'm just trying to tell you the truth, homie. No tricks, no trash, but the truth, homie. Because it's simple. You can have your independence in 2013. Plot the game out. If you ever run into me on the streets, homie, ask me what I'm doing. This is exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to get this shit over in about three to four months. I'm going to pay off everything and I'm going to be sitting pretty. Relaxing. Come check me out sometime. You're going to see the dog in the backyard. It's a killer. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later, man. Next time, partner.